Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for clicking on this video. If you guys like talking about movies way too much like I do, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Prime Video's newest film, 7500. So guys. Ah! 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 What's your emergency? We have a 7500. Open the door! So 7500 is rated R. It is a drama thriller. It's an hour 32 minutes long. And it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I honestly haven't seen him in anything since like Snowden. I think was the last thing I remember him in. I may call it 7500. I'm just going to call it 7500 just because that's how he says it in the movie. Now 7500 is another terrorist hijacking type of movie. The only difference between this and other movies is that we are only seeing the point of view from the cockpit. Um, as far as for the other passengers, we actually only see the point of view from the camera that's from the cockpit and the only time we actually see the passengers is around the beginning of the movie when they're actually loading onto the plane but again from the cockpit point of view so they are traveling from berlin to paris i believe that's where they're going and shortly after takeoff is kind of where everything just breaks loose they try to come into the cockpit as we can tell from the trailers that's not a spoiler it did feel like there was some parts of the movie that we really didn't need that kind of lagged um a lot and that kind of happened more towards the end of the movie that i felt that that could have been cut away from it mind you it's only an hour and a half long but we really could have done without those scenes and joseph gordon lemon was of course amazing in this movie i mean what else can we expect from him? He's is absolutely fantastic. He is put up against very difficult circumstances and very hard decisions and one very heartbreaking one. And it does get very intense in certain circumstances. There was a couple things like I said that you know I was not too fond of that I feel like the movie could have done without but regardless it's there. It's on Prime Video. I think it is worth a watch. I really did enjoy myself. The time honestly just flew right by. I was very intrigued and I would really have um like to have seen what was going on with the passengers you know i did not mind the one location that we had uh within the cockpit now if this was to have been like a theatrical release i don't really think i would have recommended it uh to be honest with you i would have uh said to save your money and wait for it to be on amazon on netflix to read on redbox um i don't think it's worth the theatrical experience mind you i am very eager to get back to the theatrical experience so 7500 for me i really quite enjoyed it i mean was it great was it like outstanding no but it was an enjoyable movie i'm gonna go ahead and rate it a medium popcorn have you seen 7500 or 7500 however you want to call this movie um, let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you um are you happy to see joseph gordon lemon back on the big screen or on your home screen <laughs> Let me know down below. And of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!